Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Afif Azim bin Azhar. My metric number is 050395. My supervisor is Wan Fauzia binti Abdul Wahab. For for my final year project, my system is iHeart, which is heart disease prediction system with neural network application. For the presentation outline, there will be five topics we will be discuss. The first one is introduction to iHeart, objective, machine learning model development, system demonstration, and the last one is conclusion. Okay, the introduction of iHeart. What are iHeart? iHeart is a web-based system that focuses on heart disease prediction, which can be implemented in the medical field by using neural network techniques or application. Which is the multi-layer perceptron, a model that is created to the precise calculation for the prediction in the system. Furthermore, the system also provides a suggestion to improve the heart health based on the prediction result, and also there was several, there will be a several infographic about the type of heart disease in the system. For objective, there are three main things, which is study the major trends that lead to heart disease. Implementing neural network techniques in the development of HDPS, and the last one is establish a HDPS according to the proposed techniques. Let's move on to machine learning model development. The first step in ML modeling is data collection. For iHeart, the dataset is collected from UCI machine learning repository, which provides a huge library of any dataset, especially for research purpose. Then the original dataset is that log heart dataset later changed into heart log dataset with just a naming preference for i heart. Okay, next the data exploration. For your information, our modeling is created using Jupyter notebook, which in Python language. The first step in the data exploration is to import EDA packages, which can be used for the flow of the modeling. As we can see, the dataset of Hallock is shown. Okay, this is the data types of each features in the Hallock dataset. Next, the total instance is two hundred seventy in the record, which is sufficient for our modeling, and there are no missing value between them. All right, data pre-processing. Firstly, we remove the unnecessary column in dataset, which is ID column has been removed. Second, by using label encoder, text form of class attributes is converted to data or number for efficiency of the model. Lastly, standard scalar is implemented to create. Temporary variable from the data. Data training. For data training, it is crucial to splitting the data for train, which eighty percent training and the rest of twenty percent for testing. Just before that, the predictors must be classified properly, and the variable of x and y is targeted. This is the function for accuracy, which we gonna use later. Okay, this is the step. This where the main component of our model, which the part of neural network application, is used for our model by importing the classifier. The classifier is multi-layer perceptron, which is robust and reliable for the high heart prediction. Then the training and the testing. And lastly, by importing the CM confusion matrix, we can use the functions before, which show our MLP accuracy, which is 0.833, which is exactly at 83.33% accurate. This number is just perfect for our system prediction. Last part in ML model development is the model interpretation. As we created this model, we can import it using Pickle and Jollip. 
which convert it into an actual file model, which I name as mlpmodel.pkl, later used in our app development. Move forward to system demonstration of iHeart. For your information, the system is developed using Streamlit framework which is using Python as the main language. Okay, welcome to the iHeart. So, there will be three main pages. Home, Login, and Sign Up. Okay, let's sign up. I'm gonna put my name. Refazim. Bin Azahan. Then my username, of the password, so basically there will be a warning if the password are not the same, so you need to confirm your password, if it is the same, you will, you will have a success. Uh, Message. As you can see, it will green. Yes, password confirmed. Okay, I'm gonna put my email. Afiwazim999 at gmail.com. My address, just a plain address of my home. Tamamuki Inda. My postcode. And it's kind of putri. Joho. Oops, the capital. Okay, the last one is my phone number. Alright, then I'm gonna sign up. So there will be a message that you have successfully created a valid account. Go to Lego menu to log in. Alright. Okay, let's move on to login page. Put your username password and login okay let's fill in the, all the information your age my age my sex scroll a bit chest pen type typical in china let's think about pressure um, i'm gonna put um, 90 then the serum cholesterol around 100 then move to fasting blood pressure whether it's over 120 120 no rest, resting ECG result is normal the maximum heart rate achieved is <coughs> 120 and in induced angina exercise didn't do it level of OP maybe 3.5 the slope of peak SSI as the segment I'm gonna go for flat and the number of major vessel colored around 1 and thalassemia I will put it normal so this is a JSON presentation which is in the value numerical value of the attributes and this all the uh, JSON form of text one so predict then it will say you are free from heart disease and the accuracy of the high prediction is 99.99 percent which is based on the our mlp model we just do before this that's it for i heart heart disease prediction system as a conclusion Heart disease is familiar enough in our society as one of the most lethal disease in Malaysia. I hope with our heart system, there will be an alternative for detecting the early sign of heart disease, which complementary with diagnosis in the medical field. Thank you so much for watching the video.